good morning kids so today we are going to start with our new topic and it's been quite a long that i have uploaded a video so let's get started if you see in front of you these are the keywords keywords like in all 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 together added to all these are telling us that there is some total that we need to find right so yes you got it right we are going to do our addition word problems so these are the key words through which we can know whether a particular word problem is related to addition or subtraction or any other mathematical operation so you need to concentrate while you are reading a word problem what are the key words in all whether you are finding all all together added to some total more than combined plus put together i would request you to you know pause the video and read all these keywords again so now coming back to our word problem yes is it visible yes now it is visible i have jotted down uh, three examples of word problems wherein we are going to use these uh, keywords and uh, you will get a you know gist of how word problem is see word problems are basically short stories of only three four lines and it's a basically a question for you and you need to solve it right so let's read question number 1 rahul purchased 2564 mirrors and 3152 stars to decorate his project so the in this short story you have this character rahul who has purchased mirrors and stars to decorate his project right so how many mirrors and stars he has in all now here's the catch we have already read about this keyword and i know when we when the question is asking me how many mirrors and stars he has in all so in all means together combined together how many are they so definitely i will have to plus i will add all both of them all of them to get my answer next question in a library There are five thousand five hundred eleven mathematics books and four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven Hindi books. What is the total number of books kept in the library? So here the catch is total. So what is the total number of books kept in the library? Right. So you need to find out the total number of books. Next question. Next example. In a stadium, one thousand five hundred and seventeen people went to watch a football match on a Saturday, and one thousand eight hundred fifty people went on a Sunday. So all of you must be aware about the matches that takes place in stadiums. So huge gathering is over there in the uh, stadium for you know to witness football match or any cricket match. huge fans are there yeah so there are lots of people those who go to stadium to watch a match so here the question is asking what is the combined strength of the stadium for saturday and sunday now here the catch is combined strength so what is the combined strength of the stadium on both these days it means i have to add the number of people on both the days okay so now coming back to some work here this is today's class work you will write down today's date the heading you will fill the index also make sure that the page numbers are here leave one line write down the question you will write the complete question and then we are going to solve it okay So here is our first question on addition word problems which we are going to solve it right now. 
Sumit has one thousand one hundred one thousand and seventeen pencils, and Neha had one thousand two hundred and twenty pencils. So in this my short story, I have two characters, Sumit and Neha. They both have some pencils, and the numbers are given. Who has more pencils? And also find the total number of pencils with both of them. Now here, please, you need to read the question very carefully. Here, the the question is asking ab- uh, us about two things. First, first is who has more pencils, right? And second one is what is the total number of pencils with both of them. Now, please remember, whenever we are uh, solving a word problem, whenever we are solving a word problem you have these numbers of pencil so making for making the statements it will always i'm telling you always for the numbers when you have some quantity with you tangible quantities with you so you will write always you will use like this number of pencils with sumit number of pencils with sumit do you remember in the last class we uh, reserved four columns similarly we are going to reserve one for equals to and the rest for the numbers so number of pencils with sumit is 1017 next number see statements everything is with you in the question itself in the question you will first take for sumit number of pencils with sumit and then the second statement with neha number of pencils with neha and you have to write like this the statements which are giving you the exact meaning of the question 1220 and please i am not going to solve it over here we will be solving separately so now question is asking first i'll i have to take out the total number so total number of pencils you will write on in the next line you will write the places you know one word problem on one page you will write one word problem on one page only so that there is proper clarity of the question so now here i have put down this sum to t- this question as to take out the total of the number of pencils here you are going to add so let's add i have to add starting from ones place so 7 plus 0 any num- any digit i add to 0 it gives me the same number 2 plus 1 is 3 0 plus 2 is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 so now I have the total number. Now this is the turn to write down the answer. And first, I am going to answer number one, which he has asked, who has more pencils. So I will write, Neha has more pencils. now second question total number i have taken out the total number 2237 2237 is the total number of pencils right so this is how we solve a word problem